Can you tell us your name? Uh, Rabbi Jonathan Dade, D-A-D-E. And can you tell us how you felt today about the commissioner's vote? Um, as some of the other sentiments, I'm a little bit disheartened uh, that the vote didn't go through. Although I'm not necessarily a plaque supporter, I support a different idea. Um, I'm sad that that one proposal uh, didn't go through because it, it shows that, you know, we're not willing to try to do something. And some of the reasons why it didn't go through was the deadline was a little bit too close. Uh, but again, I think when it comes to doing the right things, we should be able to fight through deadlines, maybe prolong okay. deadlines, because doing the right things shouldn't be held bound by a schedule. So how do you feel about a, another statue being erected on the court? I, I'm a strong supporter of another statue being erected to uh -huh. solve the problem. I, I know some people want to maybe remove the current Confederate statue or put a plaque near it, but again, if we can go through the process of erecting a statue that is equally tall, that shows Williamson County celebrates the deliverance from oppression and black people created equal, if we can go through that process successfully and make that statue, it shows that the problem is truly behind us. And that's why I'm such a firm supporter of it. I'm also very saddened by all the people that say it would be divisive to do that. It, it should not be considered divisive to someone that sees me as created equal to them. I can see how it would be divisive as to someone who does not see me as created equal, but to someone who does see me as created equal, it shouldn't be divisive to have a separate plaque that shows that Williamson County does celebrate deliverance from oppression. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.